All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Echo, the game with probably the creepiest, creepiest uh, title screen I've ever seen. It looks okay. I almost wish they had gone overboard rendering this eye, because it's like a little bit, you know, low, low poly, low res for this close of a view, but whatever. Let's get going. Watch as you play the entire game like this. God, that would mess with my head. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only, I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger. Probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders? Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers. Which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Is it just me or is she like really long? Maybe it's the fact that her head is higher than the mid-level of the camera. It feels very strange to me. Also the camera rotation is odd. It's tilted. I like this. This is nice. I hate the word cinematic because it it is way too broad of a uh, of a term, but this is cinematic. In probably a more specific term that I can't put to words properly, um, but this is something that I could see in a movie really easily. Doesn't look like I can do much of anything, so I'm just gonna wander around as this like. I mean, apparently she was shot or stabbed was real bad. He. Oh, you mean the cube. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. 
respect, then. That'll work, too. This game's visual design reminds me of Destiny and Warframe in a really good way. I really like super futuristic sci-fi. Uh, and some, I mean, I guess Destiny has some low sci-fi stuff, too. But just like the, oh, that look, that was such a sweet animation. Industrial design is such an underrated thing. So we play as N. Yeah, look at that. The, the like, fog or the, the coolant, probably. I don't know. I, I love, I love it when games look like this. I, I want more games to look like this. 100%. Say what you want about these games, their gameplay, the story, the content of them. Uh, but this looks great. I, I can't even say whether or not this is actually good. Uh, I've heard there's some performance issues, but I'm not seeing any on my end uh, so far. But I guess we haven't even really gotten into the game. Well, you know, everybody was always so mad at Destiny. I was just like, it's just a pretty game that I can look at. And this is a pretty game that I can look at that I'm probably going to regret playing. Because apparently, uh, it gets pretty tense. Which I'm looking forward to. Interestingly enough, she will not uh, look at the camera. I don't really want to look that direction, so let's let's just have her back slowly up. Because uh, it's a little bit bright back there. Let's just kind of sidle backwards and take a look at this cube from the side that isn't going to blind me and everybody else. I need a suit. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues. No gravitational pull. Nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. And the planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. That asymmetry is going to bother the hell out of me. I mean, it's a cool ship design, but... Duh. Get off the surface, too. What a strange place. That's an interesting scene. Really. Doesn't look like I'm I can do much here. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. Doesn't look like I can go off the edge. I can try. That is a nice looking suit. I'm going back to my comparison to Warframe, or, um... Uh, Warframe or Destiny. This really does have There's that... Something here. ...feel to it. Sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. This is pretty. I'm like... I'm a bit tentative about playing this game, if only because I heard th it, like, really does get quite tense, and I don't do well with, like, really tension-based games, but at the same time, 
This looks like the kind of thing I want to play and beat regardless, just because of how, like, weird and cool it is. Near Automata vibe from it. Yeah, I could see that. I could definitely see, like, a Near Automata vibe. Down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. Suit energy, advanced use. Okay. Suit energy, cell meter. The suit stores energy in cells. The cell meter visualizes your total capacity and current usage. Massive triangles are charged, and hollow triangles are empty. Cell cost. The cell cost of any prompted action will be highlighted in yellow. If you do not have enough charge for the action, the empty cells needed will blink yellow. The suit's core cell auto-recharges. Harnessing ambient energy. This means that if you wait, you will always have one cell at your disposal. Oh, boy. Uh... How do we get more, then? Doesn't look like I can jump across. This is cool. I do not... I do not know how this is going to go. But it is cool. It's falling apart. It all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. Let's see, can I even... Ooh, hi. Okay. Crouch with that button. Easy enough. I love the UI. It's, I mean, kind of basic, but I actually really like super simplistic UIs. They're always kind of one of my favorite things to look at in games. Humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. Would you appreciate the contrast? I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. The old man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. The crouch walk is really weird. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going here. I'm just kind of wandering around. Uh... I'm mean, gonna assume eventually we find something useful. I guess I can get over there? Yeah, the amusing part is the crutch walk is actually just about as fast as the regular walk. <laughs> Which means I really could just crab walk around this entire game like this. And just have it have that be the game. This does look like the kind of game where where face huggers would be par for the course. Okay, well, we're still kind of moving down. Oh, yeah, that looks like something. Slippery. Oh, see, well, now she's got a light jog. Then. Have you seen others like them since I was such an expert? I've had my fair share of hauls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. Yeah, so London, I think, is his name. 
is obviously an AI. I like, I like, uh, the whole AI, like, human, human playable character and an AI, uh, kind of companion, the Cortana Master Chief combination. I've always enjoyed that as a, as a way of having one singular player character and still having someone for them to talk to, because solo games just end up feeling empty and boring, and then you end up having to have, like, random NPCs all over the place to tell you where to go. And half the time, they're assholes. Ooh, boy. Well, back to crab people. Oh, shoot, I forgot the whole crab people segment in South Park. Eh, whatever. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred-year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you. And so that I could too. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did you then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. I'm afraid to talk, because half the time when I start talking, they start talking. But that's cool. Sometimes it's nice to play a game. Uh, where I I take the back seat for once. I'm just there to move things along. I'm sure it'll get a lot more um, I'm sure it'll get a lot more Me centric once we actually start playing this because this is gonna get fun and hella creepy. Ooh, there's a ring over there There must be a way inside down there That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Finally, something. I wonder how much of this is procedural generation. Because, well, I mean, obviously, there was only a couple of ways I could have gone. I wonder how easy it is to get lost there. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Wow, I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Hopefully we get the ability to get more cells somewhere. Oh, that was a bit chuggy. This is cool though. Yeah, uh, to the per person that had mentioned near Automata, once we actually get inside, the uh, the comparisons get a little bit more Interesting. I'll be down. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. This reminds me of the uh, the Palace of the Machines. Obviously, with a little bit more detail, maybe even more framey. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. God damn. This would be a cool place to wander around in. 
Like, I love this style of architecture. It's just so often marred by, like, gross paintings and, well, mostly gross paintings. I really do not like Victorian era paintings that much, but Victorian era architecture is really nice. This looks like an elevator. Or just like a little area. Eh, it's just a little area. Anything up there? No. It's like a gazebo inside a building. There's a term for that. I know You're there right is. about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the soul sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. Okay. This looks really cool. You'd be so easy to get lost in here, though. Like, imagine trying to, like, meet up with somebody inside the structure. It's like, oh, let's have lunch. Where? Good luck. I don't... I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Everybody would starve. Or use, like, superpower segways. Actually, I mean, you could probably have some kind of, like, cool inline skate to get around. But that would probably rack up the property damage pretty quick. Maybe teleporters? I mean, oh. There's a mirror, right? Oh, that's cool. Uh, we don't have our helmet off. It's just transparent in here. That is cool looking. This is, I mean, this is a beautiful game. Let's, let's be upfront and honest here. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Oh boy. This is pretty. I'm just going to keep saying that. I'm just going to keep saying that until it's a meaningless phrase. Uh, I actually want to go the other way. Because I think there was a hallway over here. I do wish I had like a, a sprint of some variety so I could go a little bit faster. I know we'll get one later on, but... Uh, well, you guys will see what happens later on. I, I don't want to spoil. I know some of the mechanics just because I had to look this game up to tell me... You know, is this worth picking up? The answer is, I still don't know about that, but it's definitely great for, like, a walking visual simulator. It's the gameplay that's going to scare me. I do not do well with tense games, to be totally honest. Do anything back here? No, it looks like this is a dead end. Uh, can I hop down? Really? Oh, so I can. Yep. There's a little bit of a chug, I think, when I hit a new area. Ah, uh, it has to load the... Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. So resourcefuls are... Resourcefuls, that's the... That's the religion. Okay. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. This game's got a nice soundtrack. I'm just gonna kind of vaguely wander around. So is this a third-person Metroidvania? No... I mean, if anything, I'd actually put this maybe a bit closer to, like, Outlast. You'll see. It's less Outlasty than you'd think, but uh, still enough creep factor to put it in the same category-ish. The, the interesting point is this game has a lot of new mechanics-ish. Uh, it does things slightly differently uh, from other games, so it's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to describe. 
Effectively, the game's supposed to learn based on how I play. Which I'm kind of excited for. Like that, that's an activation mechanism for the door. Yeah, we don't have anything for this. Uh, nope, that's just a big cup thing. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. You resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Grant spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here. And this feels very real to me. Ooh. This is something. You don't know what Outlast is. Maybe for the best? It's kind of like a horror running game, except for this one's a little bit more stealthy. Outlast always felt a little bit eh. This looks like what hmm. we're looking for here. These, I know. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Of course, how do I Just get back? Just out of curiosity, looks like it e it's what's easy. the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. Then the leap. You just wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. That's kind of fucked up. Like, really? I don't know. Her grandfather is not way, a good person. I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. And the one thing is, this is so peaceful, it's making me sleepy. Now, let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this. I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, pierces the skin and slithers inside. In about half an hour it consumes everything. And all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. You called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. <laughs> oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? 
That Foster can come back? That's insane. It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? 